She says she running away She says she can't take it no more, no So she run away She can't love him what she want Hey family, so We're in the process of doing an install At my client's house This is another home in Devonport, Florida and um, the workmen are like coming late every day so we they're like putting us behind so yesterday this is what we did design out the fireplace that's gonna be going on this wall and the shelves TV everything so what I've decided to do is I am going to start to set up this little area over here. They have to put a feature on that wood feature on that wall. So I'm waiting for them to come to put it up. Then I'm gonna put the carpet in, put the the base, the the the, the, the glass for that table hasn't come yet. But I'm gonna still put what I have together, put the chairs in place and all of that so she can then put her draperies up so she can start to see her space. Look like it's coming together um and we're gonna work on the flex room as well which is over here i'm gonna put the table up here so it'll be cleaned up by the time we leave this evening hi family and welcome back if this is your first time seeing me please go ahead and hit that subscribe button for my returning fam welcome back on this channel, we do interior design with a real interior designer, DIYs, lifestyle, and some vlogging. So, if that is what you're looking for, go ahead and stick around. Now guys, let's get into this video. This is the flex room, so they put the mirror up for me yesterday. And I have to put the wood design on it. That's a lot of work. So we're going to try to set this room up today as for the stuff that we do have for the room in any case. Um, so yesterday we hung all of the rods, uh, hung, and up here is going to have a crystal chandelier, you call that? <laughs> so. These are the carpets that we got from the carpet outlet in Georgia. So you're gonna see all of that. Babe is upstairs right now, setting up the nightstands and stuff in the bedroom. So I will definitely be showing you guys um, when we're done. Now this client loves glam, so she wants that glam look. Um, she has the chrome backsplash, is what she decided to use. So we're mixing chrome and gold, as you can see. So these are all the light fixtures and stuff, are chrome. But you see that the rods are gold, and all the furniture, the legs and stuff like that are gold. So we're mixing the two together. We're mixing chrome and gold together. And I'll show you how you do it right. So if you have fixtures, you're probably gonna want everything that's up in the ceiling to be the same finish. And then um, come down on the floor, you can add in the new, um, the new metal. So you'll see how it's done. We're not gonna finish this weekend off of this visit. Um, so I definitely, definitely now. So when I'm done this side over here, putting this, the furniture in. I'm gonna turn that light on and you guys will see how it looks then, okay? I'll be back. Okay guys, I am heading upstairs to give you guys a peek of what's going on in the master bedroom. I wanted the client to start to feel like her home was coming together. Um, normally when you have a new bill, you move into your house and you're sleeping in one of the guest rooms because your house is not put together. So her bed is coming in October. So I basically put the mattress in, we try to put some of the furniture in there, and you know, so it can start to feel like a space. At least now she can sleep in her room. 
um, these nightstands. She was adamant that she wanted mirrored nightstands. <laughs> the drapery was the right color, but I didn't like how they hung. So we did return those uh, um, to get a replacement. This is a Sierra rug that we got from the outlet in Atlanta. And again, these are not knockoff rugs. They are the original at a fraction of the price. So, um, yeah, here in this corner, we're going to have a full-length mirror. She got that full-length mirror. Her wall covering, guys, when you are putting wall covering on your wall, you have to make sure the person that's installing it knows what they're doing. She found somebody on Angie's list said he knew how to do it he came and he messed her wall covering up so she like couldn't live with it a lot of it would have been covered um by her bed but it was driving her nuts and hey she's the one that has to live with it so we tore it down and um yes they did get a bad review <laughs> And you know, we tore it down and installed a new one. You will see, kind of see that in the end. Here we are back in the living room, and these guys were driving me crazy. I don't understand. I drew this stuff out, I gave them measurement, everything. They had literally a floor plan to follow, and they still couldn't get it right. I am waiting for them to hang that um feature on the wall is going to be painted blue and I, I can't even get them to do that like they were driving me nuts <laughs> literally so on to the flex room guys the flex room was my featured piece and we have this mirror on the wall and the issue with this was we did not have the time that was needed to go ahead and put this design on the wall so because of that it ended up causing us more work because we was trying to rush it and not waiting for stuff to dry um so when we do go back in october you'll see the finished product okay guys we wanted to video this but it's a lot of work and picking up the camera is not cool so basically Right now, the film that you're seeing on there is something that is called mask. Oh, wait, let me put the cover on, Buffy. There you go. So this is a, what's on there now. So basically, it's liquid tape. Okay, that's basically what it is. So you paint it on. The best thing to do so you can get it off easily is to put it on thick. So we put it on there. Um, we were not liking, like when the two, the two piece of wood meet, we wasn't liking the seam. So what we did is we did wood filler. This is the wood filler that I used. Okay. So I use this wood filler. We use this glue, this Gorilla Glue. A clear one is what we use to stick these onto the glass because the other glue that we were using when we were creating the squares because we end up not creating the squares again so what we did is we had like from hair to hair a short piece and a long piece stick together and then when we put them up here then we added um, and it was easier to do it that way because some of these are, you can't see it with the naked eye when you put a measuring tape on it, but some of them are not squared. Okay? Um, so then what we have to do, because this is sitting on top of this, on top of the glass, and the glass is sitting on top of the wall, you're going to have a height difference, right? So we added another strip of wood back here, and then there is, this is the finishing piece, this piece. So that is gonna sit now on top of that wood that we added there. So that's gonna sit there like that. And then what she's gonna be able to do is behind here is add the LED strip light. Okay? So let me show you. So this is how we're gonna be looking. 
See, that's gonna be the strip on the side. So we're gonna add that go around the perimeter. And right now, um, one thing, um, if you see like all of these are like that, well, when we have put some of these in, so that's the wood filler, we're waiting for it to dry. Let me show you one that was, is kind of dry. Oh, here. So when you're doing this, you want to make sure that all of your 45s are turned the same exact way. Some of them were turned a different way on some pieces and we had to take them out and change them. So I just sanded it down. I'm using a hand sander and I sanded it down. I wait, I'm waiting now for it to dry and then I'm going to sand it again and then after that I am going to spray the entire piece all over again. So I need to put some wood filler right there. So yeah. So it's going to be nice when it's finished. But it's, um, it's tedious. It's tedious and picking up the camera was not an option, especially with base. So this is what we use to cut all of our, um, our, um, precision. We use this to do our precision cuts, which is to do the 45. So we use that to cut it. And again, these are the six. I showed you the six before. Um, it's a quarter inch and you get them from you can get them home depot you can get them at lowe's okay so that is how the wall is coming um on this side and that side is gonna have two sconces i will pop those up on the screen so we have two gold sconces there and you guys will see so now let me show you what's going on with the tv wall Okay guys, so finally we have the facade up for the fireplace and the TV. Um, the issue we're having is that we could not get the shelving, nor could we get the cabinetry that needs to go on either side of this piece. So um, yeah, and they had no ideas. Lowe's Home Depot, no one had it, and they didn't know when they would be getting these in, and this is all because of what's going on with the pandemic. Okay guys, so I'm just going to give you guys a sneak peek. We put all the furniture up and we kind of stuffed them into the flex room. So, uh, this is the sofa. I think the sofa is so sexy. She is so in love with it. Um, again, we're going with that glam look. So you can see a lot of high-end looking pieces along with a lot of crystals, the gold legs on the furniture pieces. So, of course, you can see the color scheme is off-white and blue. Here in the entryway, we have a console table. Above it would have like an art piece on it. It'll have like minimal items on there. Along, also, I forgot to mention in the flex room, there'll be a piano in the flex room as well for her daughter. This is the um, dining area. This dining table came without the glass and the glass, um, we are waiting for the glass to come they lost the glass, so we had to get one reordered again. Um, as you can see, there's a bench. She was adamant that she wanted a bench. So there's a bench, which I think is, you know, a different idea, but this dining table, glass table, is so beautiful. And I wanted you guys to see it with the lights on. Again, the carpet could have been a little bigger, but because we needed clearance walking in and out of that kitchen, you couldn't go any bigger. Sometimes you fall into these type of situations and it's, you know, it's a give and take. Is that table going to be used very often? She said mostly, probably on Sundays only. So sometimes it's just a give and take. And these guys were having such a hard time with her dad. He would not let them work. Like, geez, <laughs> I was calling him Mr. Supervisor. So, um... We didn't get it finished. We knew we wasn't get it finished. I thought I've gotten more done um, this week, but we did not. However, um, on our next go around, we should be completing with this project. So we are about to leave and go back to Georgia. So next will be some pics of what was left when we left.
She said she running away.